Good morning everyone. So today, I know I'm not Auntie Jo, I'm Eve. Um, and I'm going to be opening up this morning for Sunday school. So today, Katie is doing Sun. Would you say Auntie Katie or Katie? Just Katie. Okay, fine, it's fine, thank you. Good morning everyone. I'm not Auntie Jo, I am Eve, Auntie Jo's daughter. And I'm going to be opening up for Sunday school this morning. And today Katie is doing our Sunday school lesson again. So make sure that you sit down and you listen to what Katie has to say and you pay close attention. Um, and first, we're just going to open up in a word of prayer. So everyone, hands together, eyes closed. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for this day that you've given us today. Thank you that even when we're not together in person, in Compass Club and in Sunday school, that we can still be together over YouTube or Facebook and we can still listen to you. Now, Lord, I really pray that you'll help me to listen hard today to what Katie is saying. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. Now it's time for a song. Um, I'm back to tell you the story of um, how sin began and Adam and Eve um, from carrying on from the story that we had the, a couple of weeks ago about heaven um, I hope you all enjoyed the stories that everyone else has done the last few weeks um, and um, th thank you for all coming back so I um, just want to pray before we start and then we'll start on our story. Dear Lord, thank you for this day, Lord. We ask you now to help um, us listen and to take in all the information you need us to listen to, Lord. Um, we thank you for everything we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, I thought it'd be nice for you to see me saying the story as well as the pictures this time. So, I hope it's um, okay. I'll try not to put my papers in front of your story. So, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. In six days, God made this earth into the beautiful form and design that we enjoy today. On the very first day, he said, let there be light, and divided the light from the darkness. 
On the second day, he separated the clear blue sky from, from the, the waters below. On the third day, he caused the dry land to appear with all the beautiful trees, flowers and plants. On the fourth day, he made the sun to shine and the moon and the stars to give their light and for the and for the signs and seasons and, and years. And on the fifth day, he made all the creatures that live on the waters and all the birds that fly in, in the air. On the sixth day, he made all the land animals of every kind from the greatest to the very smallest creeping creature. Last of all, on the sixth day, God made the very first man, which was the crowning work of all of God that God made. God took the dirt or chemicals of the ground and formed it into a shape and breathed into the nostrils and the man became a living soul. He could walk and he could talk and he could think and he could reason, he could love and he could hate and could know God. Man would have a soul that would live forever, either with God or away from God. God called his name Adam. Then God made the first woman, Eve, and placed Adam and Eve in the beautiful garden of Eden. Together they kept the lovely garden. They played with the animals and they had wonderf a wonderfully happy time in the garden. They especially enjoyed each afternoon when God came to walk with them in the garden. God told them they could eat of every tree in the garden except one, the tree of knowledge of good and evil. God told them that the, the day they ate of that fruit that they would surely die. But Adam and Eve enjoyed all the other trees in the garden so much that they never thought of eating of the tree of, of knowledge of good and evil. Till one day Satan, the enemy of God, thought I'll make Adam and Eve disobey God. I'll make them eat of that forbidden fruit, the tree of knowledge and good and evil. I'll make them do what I want to do and I'll make them obey me rather than God. Satan is very powerful and he had the power to enter the body of a serpent in the garden and, and gave that serpent the ability to talk. Can you imagine it? an animal talking to us? It would be very weird, wouldn't it? Let me make this picture straight for you. It was probably their favourite pet. Adam and Eve um, used to play with the animals. So... But one day, the, anim the serpent came to Eve and said, Eve, have you ever eaten of the, of the tree that, of, that God told you not to eat of? Eve said, oh no, we, not, we, we eat of all the other trees in the garden, but not that tree. God said that the day we ate of that, of, of that we would surely die. No, we never eat of that tree. Oh, surely you wouldn't die, said Satan through the serpent. God knows that if you eat of that fruit, you'll be as wise as he is. And that's the reason God told you not to eat of the tree. Why don't you go ahead and try it? Doesn't it look good? It would taste good, I'm sure. Adam and Eve believed Satan and she ate of the forbidden fruit. When Adam came he, he too, he took of the forbidden fruit and ate of it. Was the forbidden fruit an apple, do you think? No. Was it grapes? No. We don't know what the fruit was because the Bible doesn't tell us. It was not any fruit that we have on earth today. It was special fruit from the special tree. Now Adam and Eve had both disobeyed God for the first time. And for the first time they had done something wrong. They had sinned. The serpent had not told them the truth and they were not as wise as God after eating the forbidden fruit. They began to feel guilty and ashamed. Before, before this, Adam and Eve did not need to wear clothes. They were clothed in God's righteousness and God's goodness. But now, since they had disobeyed God, they no longer were clothed in the righteousness and goodness of God. They were now naked before God and they felt ashamed and they wanted to cover their bodies and hide. Naked and ashamed, they sewed together fig leaves and hid themselves from the presence of the Lord. The serpent had told them a lie. 
we now realize that they weren't as wise as God. And if, if they had only not be, believed in the serpent, and they believed and obeyed God, but now it was too late. They were unhappy for the first time in their lives. Perhaps Eve cried and maybe Adam too. That afternoon when it came, came time for God to come and walk with Adam and Eve in the garden as he usually did, he did not find them waiting for him. Of course, God already knew what they had done and he knew where they were hiding because God knows everything. So he called, Adam, where are you? There was no answer. And he called again. And soon Adam and Eve realised that they could not hide from God. So out of the hiding place they came. With their heads bowed and feeling very guilty before God, they stood dressed in their figs, fig leaves and, and God spoke, Adam and Eve, you have done what I told you not to do. Therefore, you will have to bear your punishment. Because the serpent was used by Satan to deceive you, the serpent from now on shall crawl on his belly and eat the dust of the ground. And he shall be hated and despised above all creatures. And that's the reason today that snakes are hated. Eve, you shall have sorrow and sickness and one day your body shall die. Adam, I will curse the ground. So that, that it brings forth weeds and, and thorns. And you shall have to work hard for the rest of your life to get any food. One day your body shall die, Adam and Eve. You shall both have to leave this beautiful garden and you cannot live here anymore. I will not come to walk with and talk with you in the garden again. Of course, God still loved Adam and Eve very much, just as he ever had. But he didn't like what they had done and God hates sin. As he saw them standing there dressed in the fig leaves to cover their shame, he did something very special. God took the animal in the garden, probably a lamb, and killed it. The blood was spilled over on the ground. And had the lamb done anything wrong? Of course not. Adam and Eve were the ones who had done wrong. But God killed the animal and shed its blood and took the skins and made clothes for Adam and Eve. This animal gave its life to make a covering for the shame of Adam and Eve's disobedience. That reminds us of what Jesus, who calls us, who is called the Lamb of God, did for us. Because he shed his blood on the cross to cover our sins. We have our sins covered and forgiven by God if we believe in him. Sad and broken hearted, Adam and Eve left the beautiful Garden of Eden. How they wished they had never sinned. They looked back longingly. But as they left the garden, God gave them a word of hope, a promise that one day someone who would defeat someone would come and defeat Satan, and who would, like the lamb, take eternal punishment for their sin. And thus Adam and Eve left the garden, and they went out and had to work very hard to get crops to grow, because the because of the curse that God had put on the ground. They had sorrow and heartache and pain, and finally their bodies died. Today, we still have sorrow and pain, and a lot is going on in the world at the moment and we, we, that we know of. And Adam and, Adam and Eve um, were born, the, sorry. We still have sorrow and pain and death in the world because of all, all of this has come from Adam and Eve. We are born with hearts that want to disobey God, but God still loves us. Even though we, we are bad, he wants us to go to heaven when we die and live with him for he forever. He wants so, us so much for us to live with him in heaven that he made a way for us to be able to go to heaven even though we are sinners. The lamb that died to cover the shame of, of Adam and Eve's sin points down through the years to the cross of Calvary where Jesus, God's lamb, died to take away the sins of all who believe on him. When we tell God that we are really sorry for the bad things we do and that we really do believe in Jesus, in, in, that Jesus is God's lamb who died for our sins, 
and that we want Jesus to come into our heart, then God promises that he will forgive us and that he will come into our heart. Maybe some of you want to tell God right now, if you have ever trusted in Christ, then you need to need to if you have never trusted in Christ, then you need to today. So if we pray while your heads are bowed and your eyes are closed, if you want to trust Jesus Christ as your Saviour and ask him into your heart, then listen to this to this prayer. So Jesus, I I ask you now, Lord, that you forgive us from our sins, Lord, and that for these children to speak to you, um, and adults if they're listening to, Lord, to ask them to forgive you for for their sins and to come into their hearts, and and that you were bled, was shed for them to die, and died you died upon the cross for us, Lord, to um, make our sins become um, for our dirty sins in our hearts to become clean. We thank you for doing this, Lord. I ask you, Lord, if anyone needs to ask any questions, that they can message us and ask us, Lord. And thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you want to um, listen next next week, and we'll have some more stories. And um, next time I come to speak to you and say a story, then we will talk about the, the crucifixion of Christ. So that it'll explain a little bit more about um, Jesus dying on the cross for our sins. Thank you for listening. Bye.